Hello, today we are going to talk about Pratyahara. When you fully master this level, you become independent from five senses. It means from hot or cold, from pain or pleasure, from hunger or thirst, from beautiful or ugly. Pratyahara it is step number five in Patanjali Yoga Sutras. And it is preparation for meditation practice. From Sanskrit, Pratyahara means rejection, to avoid certain thought or avoidance. And Pratyahara means that we learn to separate our ourselves from thoughts, ideas, emotions, feelings, energies that comes to us. Please remember turtle. Imagine turtle. When turtle is hiding, he pulls in his head, hands and legs inside his shell. The same happens here in Pratyahara. We learn how to pull in our five senses. Another example, please imagine octopus. Octopus are, you know, has legs and those legs are always rushing for something. So our mind works very similar like octopus. Our mind is always searching for different objects, for diff different thoughts, different feelings, different emotions that he can realize in our life through our five senses. So in Pratyahara we learn how to separate, how not to associate ourself, ourselves with thoughts that comes to our mind. For example, when we do meditation, we usually just sit with closed eyes, with straight back and a lot of different thoughts comes to our mind but if we just watch our thoughts do not realize them then those thoughts just go away for example if we have some concentration object for example we concentrate our focus on breathing we breathe in breathe out and we fully understand this process how does it work and different thoughts comes different emotions comes different feelings comes but if we do not try to do them right away those thoughts just go away you know it's like clouds clouds they come and go they come and go so thoughts are similar like clouds our thoughts comes and go, comes and go. The same happens with emotions, the same ca happens with different feelings, with different energies that comes to us. And some of those feelings, they lead us to suffering. For example, uh, if for me comes idea of anger, thought of anger, that I want to be anger. So first, if I usually just live life, for me comes thought about anger, then I just start shouting right away on somebody that is around. And it is very negative for me and very negative for other people, because I suffer from that and other people are suffer from that. So Pratyahara means that we learn to separate us from thoughts, emotions, feelings that comes to our mind. Also the same happens with any other senses. For example, um, if idea comes to me that I want to eat chocolate, but if I don't even think about that, I start realizing it in my life and it uses my life energy, my time, my life energy and eating chocolates, it leads to uh, some certain problems with health. 
after some time. So it is very useful to understand that we are like a spectators of thoughts that comes to, uh, to our mind. Our mind um, always want to see something through our eyes, uh, always want to um, listen something, always want to um, taste something through our tongue, all, all, always want to touch something through hands and our mind is always try to pleasure our five senses. So Pratyahara it is very helpful because it learns you to separate you from thoughts that comes to you. And those thoughts are like clouds. They come and go. They come and go. They come and go. So why it is important to, to know that in our life? Because if we attach to, if we connect ourselves with thought that comes to our mind and those thoughts are related about pleasuring our five senses, so then we become hostages of our five senses. It means that those thoughts, emotions, um, those feelings, they start to control our life. So when we do Pratyahara, when we learn to do Pratyahara, we take control of those emotions, of those feelings, of those thoughts that comes to our mind. And then not thoughts, feelings or emotions control your life, but you control thoughts, feelings and emotions. Also, when we satisfy our pleasures through five senses, then um, the more we are satisfying it, the more it becomes habit. The more it becomes habit, the bigger samskaras we create. What is samskaras? Uh, in yoga, samskaras, it is a imprint that are inside of our subconscious mind. And the more we are doing such action, the bigger it creates samskara. And those samskaras, they, some of them we create in this life, and some of those samskaras, they go from our past lives. Because in our subconscious mind, in, deep in our subconsciousness, there are all those samskaras that comes from previous lives. And also samskaras uh, can be both negative and they can be also positive. There are good samskaras, there are bad samskaras. So when we try to pleasure our five senses, the more we're trying to do that, the bigger habit it becomes and that always lead to suffering. So it is another reason why it is important to do Pratyahara because um, if we keep distance between us and between those thoughts, feelings, energies, emotions, then we do not create negative habits, negative samskaras. Also, there are another reason that um, because uh, we get a lot of different information nowadays, um, our mind gets that information and tries to work with that information. And because of that, our mind is very, very busy. It means the more information we get to our mind, the more time, the more energy uh, he needs to somehow systemize this information. And also, another reason is our mind is always, you know, live in past 
always lives in the future. Our mind always remembers something. Uh, our mind has some memories. Uh, or our mind always planning something in the future. And because of that, uh, we do not be in present moment. So it is also very important reason because all those past things or all future things, it is not real. Real only present moment, only, only moment now. So when we use Pratyahara, we can be in the present moment, we can be now, we can fully, fully understand all processes that happens inside of us. And we fully understand when thought comes and we don't do anything with that, it goes away. Like a cloud. Cloud came and go away. Cloud came and go away. So, how to do that in our real life? So, as you understand, so first thing we need to separate us from thoughts that comes to our mind. Also, we can focus, um, for example, on breathing or on different part of our body for longer period of time. This method recommends serious yoga masters, some of serious yoga masters. It means when you need to focus your attention on some object, then your mind is already in work and he is not able to um, realize all those thoughts that comes to him. So, for example, if we sit in meditation and we just watch, observe our breathing, a lot of thoughts can come, but if we are focused on our breathing, all those thoughts come and go, come and go, come and go. And we, and we all the time are focused fully on breathing, 100% concentration. So it is another method that really help uh, to practice, to master um, Pratyahara. In yoga, we do quite a lot of uh, useful practices that help us to practice our focus, concentration, because it is very important in, in our life uh, to learn how to focus, how to have concentrated mind. For example, to learn better Pratyahara, you can do some exercises like, for example, you hear how clock is ticking and you learn how you do not hear how clock is ticking. You hear, you concentrate on it, on sound, and you don't hear. You hear and you don't hear. And by doing that, you're learning how to focus your, your attention. You focus attention on clock ticking, and then you focus attention to some other place. For example, breathing or part of your body. Then ticking, then you're switching your focus. By doing that, you, you get sta stable mind. So, the main benefits of Pradyahara is you start to control your five senses, mm, you take control over your thoughts, control over feelings, over emotions. Not emotions control you, not feelings control you, not thoughts control you, but you take over of thoughts, feelings, emotions. You start to control them. By doing that, you start to control your life. Also, you create stable mind because stability in mind comes when you fully learn how to focus, for example, on some task. For example, to watch breathing, to observe breathing. 
by doing that you release a lot of energy you release a lot of time you release a lot of resources that you can use for your future growth for your highest goals that you need to do in this life so pratyahara it allows you to save a lot of time a lot of energy uh, that you can use for benefits for more higher benefits of your life and life of our people also we need to understand that pratyahara it is not about separating you as a person from this life no pratyahara is not about that but pratyahara it is about learning to control processes that happens within you and by doing that you fully take control of your life fully control fully take responsibility of what happens inside you and by doing that you grow you become better you become you get more knowledge how to work with you how to handle different situations because all those emotions all those feelings all those thoughts it's not that easy how it looks from first side from first time you know when very strong emotions comes for example comes anger and usually it's not very easy to somehow work with it but by learning pratyahara by mastering pratyahara we can learn to do that there is one very great story about pratyahara um, there was a teacher and he hurt his leg he injured his leg and he didn't say anything about that for his students and after some time his students they know get to know about his injury and they offered him to go to a hospital master said okay if you're saying that i need okay i'll go <laughs> and uh, master went to a hospital to doctor and doctor said that uh, he will need operation master said okay uh, if there is a need and then doctor said we need to give you anesthesia um, oh, to make operation to you know to do something with his leg you know, to make operation correctly and this master said no doctor please don't do anesthesia anesthesia for me uh, and just please do your work uh, doctor was uh, you know very shocked from first but okay master said then he doctor started to do uh, operation without do, giving anesthesia to this master and after operation master comes like nothing happens uh, his leg was okay doctor did his job and after that doctor said in my whole life i never seen such situation so what's the moral of the story so this master he was mastered pratyahara in very very high level and when doctor was doing something with his legs uh, you know like the with scissors and or something with scalpel so uh, this master because of pratyahara because of separating himself from the body he absolutely did not feel any pain and it is very good example of pratyahara it means when you master such level of pratyahara you become absolutely not in touch from five senses from pain from um, hot cold and all other five sen feelings that comes through five senses so basically that's all about pratyahara please always remember to be in 
balance in life and by doing pratyahara you can really really get a lot of benefits so i recommend you to try um, if it's possible to do it and if it's possible for you try yoga practices try meditation because both yoga both meditation practice it helps very much to practice pratyahara step also pratyahara it is step number five in patanjali yoga sutras so before practicing pratyahara uh, it is very good to practice yama niyama it is also very good to practice asanas and pranayamas so to practice pratyahara like five steps so it is very good to do all those things because Patanjali said all those things and they are very logical and they go right each after one like yama niyama it help us to make our mind um, stable then asanas help to work with our body with energy in our body then pranayamas help to work with pranic body breathing and then next step pratyahara to learn how to separate us from thoughts from feelings from emotions that comes to our mind that's all for today thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye